Hi, this is Gift of Phoenix, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about Stanley Steamer. Uh, I used to work there. My boss was a hobbyist named Austin's One Hobby. That is his name. He also was named Ray, and um, he was the worst boss ever. Totally horrible. And this has to do with the beginnings of my stocking. Um, let's see. I When I first met Austin's one hobby, first thing that he asked me is, hey, can you get pregnant? I said, no, I can't get pregnant. Why? And you're still not going to, you know, place your seed inside me. We, that's not happening. And he goes, he goes on to say, that he, um, his ex-girlfriend had gotten pregnant and, um, you know, he didn't want to have that. And I'm like, okay, that's that's your business. Um, you're still, you know, that's not happening. So, long story short, we actually, uh, we're kind of friends. We go out to breakfast every now and then. And at one point in time, he comes to me and he says to Tiff, uh, would you like a job? And I think about it and I say, yeah, I'm going to try. Uh, I, I, I'll, I, I would like a job. I've worked for commission base before. And, um, so I do. Um, let's see. Sorry. Still kind of nervous here. I'm going to go here. Oh, um, hold up. Let me flip through here. So anyway, so I do... And let me tell you, he is the worst boss ever. Um, there was many times where it w he would actually dress down. Take, we had an hour's wait in the morning to be able to start work. And then we had a 30-minute general conversation of him just rambling on. And uh, let me tell you one situation that happened. And that is, he, there's 30 people, right? And he, uh, he stands this one guy up and he's all like, do you have a problem? So say, say it right now. If not, there's, there's the, uh, there's the door, right? In front of 30 people. People, when you're a boss or a manager or something like that, you actually need to uh, step him aside, take him into your office and you guys deal with it that way. Now, anyway. He had a manager named Tony. I called him Tony the Tiger. <coughs> he knew of what I was. <coughs> there was a lot of times where if I was alone with Tony, Tony would be like, hey, what about a session? Hey, you look hot. You look good. How about doing me? It was stuff like that. Um, it was really uncomfortable. It really was. And one time I walk in right before I quit and I realize everybody in the shop is giving me that look. You know that look? Um, yeah. yeah. A lot of women will tell you they know what kind of look I'm, I'm talking about. And I know it's time to get the hell out of here. Every guy in there hates him. I mean hates him. He would, If he had a problem with you that day... <coughs> Your schedule would be, you get a $100 job here, and then you'd have to drive an hour to the next job. That's only a $100 job. Then you'd have to drive another hour to another one. It was very bad. You, do, you made no money that day. It, he would destroy your paycheck if he did not like you that day. Now, here, right here, it's a Temptation Tammy, and she was a, 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 a girlfriend of his for a while, and he borrowed some money out from her. <coughs> he's not the um uh, she's not the only one that he's borrowed money or done this or done that to um anyway uh right when i quit austin one hobbyist comes to me and he tries to text me he's all like hey why did you why did you quit why am i getting uh um the branch manager apparently had come down He's all like, what'd you say? What'd you do? And I'm all like, dude, you have a big target on your back. You're a bad boss, okay? I got the hell out of there because I'm looking... Oh, by the way, this is Erin. <laughs> Apparently, I've been I've been spelling her name wrong. Oops. Um, sorry about that. Uh, um, that's the infamous one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, people. Uh, Eki full-on 
knew, Z Tonk knew about the fact is that she was on the hook trying to get off the hook for identity theft. They knew. Okay, you can't tell me that they didn't know because I'm the one that told them. Yeah. So, don't know what to tell you there, Z Tonk. So, anyway, um, as you can see from here, uh, she goes on to speak about Austin and a hobbyist. Now, see, the thing is, is that we have socials and everything like that. And so, you know, at these socials, Victoria Lynn is also there. And um, they're, pretty, they're, they're friends. They know each other and everything like that. Victoria Lynn, well... Anyway, she used to be an ex-girlfriend of his. Just to say that. Here it is. I'm talking on Temptation Tammy's uh, um, bread. Well, anyway, the point is, is that um, after that text, I start waking up to this guy in my window. Literally. Oh, yeah. Uh, here it is right here uh, where this where this chick, she's. Um, let's see. What time what was that? Back on uh, 410 of 2017, <coughs> she actually lists where he worked at. Nothing was done about it. Nothing. It wasn't, it wasn't until here on 1220, 2017, where I actually post that, hey, guess what? This was, this woman over here is actually telling where he worked at before they did anything. So from four, from from the fourth, uh, April, uh, January, February, March, April. So since April to December, it was on the alert threads. Nothing was done. They finally, they finally edited it, and nothing. And she wasn't banned for it at all. <coughs> Sorry, I'm. I'm getting used to talking and, and the allergies and stuff like that. So, um, where was I? Oh yeah. So he's actually initiated, um, my stalking, my T PTSD that I had at the time. <coughs> Trust me, my stalking has gotten, was, has gotten so bad. I actually no longer have PTSD at all. At all. Here it is where I'm talking about. Where it's the his real world information about Stanley Steamers is actually posted. You know, I go on to about a couple other things of of where there's fake ads written about me, all sorts of things. Um. Oh, here's this Jaybird uh thing. By the way, people, there's only been one person that's ever called me Jaybird or even brought up Jaybird. Only one conversation. And that would be with Aaron. Let that one sink in for a minute. So anyway, here it is. She goes off bitching and everything like that about uh, somebody saying it's something. And Ahmad is telling me, go, you know, keep real world information off the boards. I'm like, I didn't post any. Everybody already knew this. Oh, that, oh, uh, this is. Uh, Bugle Boy. I wonder why he's disabled his account. I have no idea. This is talking about, you know, and, and, and Victoria Lynn, I mean, she's been writing my ass for every little thing. Instead of saying, that is absolutely great that that you, you know, that you've taken the drug, uh, Travada, to prevent HIVs and stuff like that. And she, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, if you're going to be writing my ass, um, what about you? Do you take this? Or not. I also apologize for some other things. She says that I don't need or want your your apology. It's not accepted. I'm like, okay. You know what? Oh, this is another fun thing. They're trying to say that I hear voices in my head. I'm like, bitch! Post something where I said this. Now, I've allowed it to be rumored. I've told a couple people just because I want to see what happens. And every time, this was, this is the biggest thing that bothers me. Is that basically, see, right here. This is all I posted. Where does it say that it says about her baby's daddy? It doesn't, people. 
Anyway, I've asked him time and time again, hey, back your mouth up. Back it up, back up your keyboard. Because here it is, I can post everything where I, I can show you evidence. I can pull up threads. Time and time again, I can post what I say and back it up with evidence. You, you just run in your mouth. That's all you're doing. So how would you hear this? You can't pull up one thread. You can't post not one piece of evidence, can you? No. Thing is, I mean, you're talking about me. I also noticed that you posted on face on my Facebook. I haven't read it. Look, one thing I've learned about stalkers: you can't talk to them, you can't argue with them, you can't you can't do anything. They're 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 just individual people. There's no having a conversation with them. It's it's sad, but it's true. I think that Victoria Lynn has been blaming me for a lot of things for a long time. I never once spoke to her about it. I've been holding a grudge and feelings that she's not supposed to tell to her. You can read it all in a thread called An Interesting TM. Um, you can read a little bit about Austin's hobbyist, uh, Austin's one hobby. In Temptation Tammy's thread. <coughs> I showed you the link. Um... Oh yeah, this is one other small detail. I created a BJ technique known as Phoenix Phoenix Kiss. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. Sorry, people. Um, apparently, rumor has it is that he's trying to take Austin One Hobby is trying to take some sort of credit from it. No, you had nothing to do with it. Okay, get this. Nothing. You do not get to take any credit for the Phoenix kiss. You need to understand that the reason why you're, you were fired <coughs> because you were a horrible boss. You were out screwing providers during the time that you should work. You were out watching, you know, uh, Netflix on your computer with the door closed or playing a game. You would waste our times and make us run all over the place for peanuts. They hated you. You were a horrible boss. Okay? I don't like you. I never want to see you again. 